Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper in the Thievius Raccoon. Is I looked, at the, I I looked, at, I just ran into that sentence right, like crazy. I looked at my old LP of this game real fast, just because it's still up. All my old LPs are still up. I never get rid of videos. I don't believe in that. If it sucked, it's still up. But um, anyways, my uh, I, oh that doesn't work. I looked at my old LP of this game. I got it done in 30 episodes in 10 minute increments. Now I'm doing this LP in 20 minute increments, so I need to get it done in under 15 episodes if I want to consider this a, like a record breaking LP. So far, by the looks of things, I am hands down going to get this done like an hour earlier than I usually do, which is amazing. I don't care if you have to say Bentley, I'm just going to play this level. It's the same thing as that one in Ms. Ruby. This is what I said, it's a lot of minigames get redone. First we did that uh, Murray shooting part like in uh, World 2, now we're doing this like in World 3. And if you haven't looked at the list of levels yet, we also have two more mini games to do. I would have really appreciated if it did another one of them treasure chests and the crab things. But I see why they didn't, because obviously that wouldn't work in a world like this. Thank you, that is all. I love that. Um, but um, this, I, I, I love, I, I hate Panda King as a character. He's very uh, bland, except in the third game. In the third game, he's not really bland at all. He's really cool in the third game. Damn it. But um, in this game, he's really bland. I don't know. I just don't like his character style. His way of talking and all that just bother me. But um. I don't know. This he's got some really cool levels though, and his boss fight's really fun. Um, I'm not. It's, it's actually. I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna spoil anything saying this. I'm just gonna say, Panda King's boss fight is the only normal boss. Well, I guess Rally's pretty normal too. Mugshots is anything but normal. Ms. Ruby's is Guitar Hero. Without a guitar, or a, well, it does a slide. Not, I don't know if slides a hero or not. Call Sly what you must. I love his design in this part here, by the way. I don't know if anyone else notices this really good warehouse design. Possibly making fun of the Chinese? I don't know. Close that door there. There we are. This part, where the things are... Can't get difficult. Ah, uh, just moving on through this ice cave or whatever it is. I guess you can consider this a snow world if you really want to, but I don't know. Like I said, every game is a snow world. Even Halo has snow worlds. Literally, Halo has fucking snow worlds. I'm not joking. They're not directly called snow worlds, but they're worlds made of snow. And they're not, like, any other level, I guess. No game is complete without snow levels, with pain in the ass mechanics. Although, I'm surprised, this game doesn't have any slipping or sliding or anything. Ice or any of that shit. Well, that's another level done. Where is the one? Okay, up there's one. And down there's one. I'm gonna go to the one down there, because I don't care. If you guys can't tell, I really don't fucking care. Desperate race. I want to do the last level of the game, the last level of the world, uh, like at last, because it's the last world of the game. <laughs> I don't know. Not last world of the game, but. What are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand, and I think to myself. 
myself. Hey, Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here, and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. You could use the key. Think you can take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Let's go. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. I'm just gonna ask why in a snow world you'd ever buy ice cream. Just, just being a nice guy and asking that. I would never need ice cream. I'd never want ice cream. Oh, look at those icy patches I was talking about. They're in this level. The level where it matters the most. Because I think Sly... Sly is like a thief. He could never really slip or anything. But the van, the getaway van, I could certainly see it slipping on everything. Come on. Gonna put some grips in this truck? Screw that. Slipping on the ice is half the fun. I don't know how Murray does things, but it's certainly not right, whatever it is. Damn it! I am not gonna win this race. Let's restart this. <laughs> this is a really hard race. I took a whole episode to do it, my old LP. Let's see if we can get it done before a whole episode is over. Or at least 10 minutes. Because a whole episode is 10 minutes, you know. <laughs> Haven't used a single nitro boost. Boost. <laughs> I've just used my first boost for this entire race, and I'm already in third place. This is amazing. I'm doing great. This, this, is, this is sad. This might be easier than the mugshot race, but uh, I'm not going to say it openly, because it probably isn't for most people. But I'm personally finding this is easier than the mugshot race right now. Probably because there's no annoying sounds playing on the last lap. Screw you! Screw you, sir! Oh, shit. I'm stuck I'm trying to grab a ball out of a spidery ass corner. Oh my god, there's a spider web there, and I can visibly see three spiders. a small ice cream stand. Or Murray's just really big. Or Asians are just really small. That was offensive. <laughs> That's neither bad programming or offensive jokes against the Asians. One of the two. There's a lot of there's a lot of like offensive jokes in this level that no one notices. And here we are, going to Duel by the Dragon. Here, I did the race, we did the Save Murray thing, we did the Cannon thing. And it's one last mini game we could possibly do. And that is. Get chased by Carmelita. <laughs> so behold the Carmelita level of this game. Of this final Carmelita level, I guess you could say. Not really, no. She's in the final world, obviously. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China. But I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Okay, um, 
She says, what are you doing here? I just want to ask what she's doing here. Real fast. Because, you know, you're, um... An inspector or something? I don't know. But I know, certainly, you don't belong in China. <laughs> I don't know what your job is. But getting killed by fire does not feel good. Oh, I want to go down here. What am I doing? I don't know what that was all about, but, uh... I think it was an extra one in case it lost the first one. Which I can't see myself doing, but... Whatever, I'm sure someone has lost them. Oh, yeah, there's three the right there. Also, those platforms are apparently breakable. Also... DEATH! DEATH! And zero lives, apparently. a really cool design for a level. I like how the fireworks, you hit the fireworks and she's still shooting at you and stuff. Really clever. In the long run, that's a really clever idea. Oh. Oh, this part. Definitely in fast motion. I might really want to notice how big she is. Like, model-wise. She's huge. She's fucking huge. Oh, bringing the guards into this shit now, are ya? Damn it! Damn it! Do I have like... Oh, okay, good. Please don't play cutscenes. Screw you, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this extra life. Uh, lucky charm, as some would call it. Oh, I got gold lucky charm. That was easy. Damn it, let's do this. Oh. There we are. Oh, shit. Doing this over again, ain't I? This is very annoying, by the way. Uh, just stay behind Sly. Stay behind camera. Camera. Just, just stay behind. Just stay. Just, just. Just camera, just stay. Thank you. That's why you stay behind Sly, was all. This was the last two at. I gotta be careful, she might screw me over. Not like that, but she will screw you over in this level. Like that.
Just like these weird patterns, I guess. Please tell me there's two bottles up here, please. Come on. Come on, where are those last two bottles at? Oh. Great. Just great. I'm gonna do the level over again, damn it! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I can't exit the level, can I? I don't want to commit suicide. Now I'm actually gonna come back for him. I'm just gonna spoil what happens. Um. Bentley will tell you to get all the bottles here that the code is in owl dialect and the only way to translate owl dialect is to kill clockwork who is like a uh, character is later in the game so basically we have to finish the game before we can come back here now I see why they did that there's a bonus ending if you get all the pages well, if the bonus ending played before the real ending, it wouldn't make any sense, so... N making... make sense why they did that, I see. I'm just gonna end the level here. Make sure you hit it before you grab onto it. I thought the game broke one time when I did this, cause it wouldn't go. You have to break him off first, break all the keys and shit. Flame Foo. Oh, I love, I love his... this is why I love him. That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Yeah, he's actually in the other games. Like, him and a character from the second game actually play big roles in the rest of the story of the series. And I'm considering it Sly 4 to take place mostly in Asia. I'm assuming he's going to take a big part in that story, too. Actually, I didn't think it's the whole Sly 3 clans to take place in Sly 4. Hope it does. Because I thought the Guru was like my favorite character. And then like Penelope I can do without, but whatever. Fuck! Come on, I was doing this in fast motion, that's why I was trying to get myself killed here. I love his voice, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, show that Candy King who's boss. Yeah, there we are. It looks like these anime faces when you beat him. It's, it's brilliance. Oh, come on! What was that dance at the end there? Jesus. I love it's like his stomach just like moves and you hit him. That's amazing. Fire! I can't, I, I can't memorize this game. Fiery wheel. It's really annoying after a while, but you hear, I've heard it so many times now. There we are. Oh, that face! That face! That face! That file! Oh, come on! I am not ending this episode until I have beaten you, Panda King. This will be a long episode if it has to be. Fiery 
There we are. There we are, show who becomes boss. There we are. That's more like it. No, 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 his face! Oh no, my god! That, that's just, that, I'm sorry, that's hilarious. I don't care what anyone says. That's the, like the greatest anime face. Thank you! Your skill with that game is unparalleled. I. Clever story there, by the way. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his Thieves design, in time better have him in it. would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. You know, I'm gonna be honest, Sly 4 or Thieves in Time, whatever you call it, better have all these characters in this game, like all the dudes he mentions in this game in it. I'll see you guys in the next one, where we will fight Clockwork and finish this game. See you then.